Hello, this is Tim with Tada Farm, and today is Saturday, March 23rd, and we're going to tear into this John Deere 7000 planter. We need to change all the bushings on the row units. So, got all the parts from Shoops, and we're all set up here. We're going to show you what's involved. So, stay tuned. I've given this a lot of thought on how we're going to do this and support those row units. We're going to hook up the Kubota's hydraulics. And we're going to raise it up, disconnect the uh, transport unit, and then we're going to drop this down. And I've got these uh, pieces of plywood. You can see them across here. And we're going to let those uh, fertilizer openers and the uh, seed openers, those metal discs, instead of letting them set on the concrete, we're going to put them on these boards. So we'll be right back. Well, it's been about two months since I've started this up. It's 39 degrees outside i'm not sure what it is in the barn here but it's cold but anyway we're gonna do a cold start it's uh it, it'll start just right up it's got glow plugs on it you can see the glow plug light right there oh, i guess it was right down there here we go so we'll let that warm up let the oil warm up and then we'll get things moved around well i got these hoses labeled the one uh, red electrical tape going around here is what I used. The one is going to the left side and the two goes to the right side so when I get in the cab I know which is which. And the third hose does the markers. And that goes on another one that would be on the left anyway. So, But hook these up. And then we can come over here and we can slowly drop it down making sure that those boards are underneath all those disc openers and stuff. There's one that's close, but they're all on there. So we should be in good shape there. And I got the tension off of here enough. They're tight, but it's not too bad. I should be able to work with that. And uh, we'll start taking them bushings off. All right, we're getting started on this one unit. We got to take this off so we can get to the bolt below. And then we're going to do these later because I got to get different washers than what I got, but all right, here we go. All right, we got this idler all out of our way, so we're gonna get this one off, and I can't use the impact on this one, so we're gonna do it this way, old fashioned way. Put the big breaker bar on here. And we're going to get that really tight. All right. Then the rest of them we can use the impact. Well, we're gonna have to take this one off. Take this completely off. Take that to the bench. Well, when it came out, it came out and it went someplace. I didn't even hear. No, no. Okay, we'll go put this back in. Here's why we're getting rid of these.
All right. We'll do that one later because I got to get different washers for it. That washer's too big around. So that's what's involved. We're going to do it five more times and we'll be done. Well, we got it all done. This end one here, it, it gave me all kinds of fits. We had to have this one bar soak for a while. And then while we were finishing up, we had the whole bottom one off. And the only thing holding it on was this in here. And we just beat, beat, beat. Got them bushings out. So, but anyway, that's what's involved, getting these changed out on this 7,000. I'm sure some other John Deere planters would pretty much work the same way, but here's why we were changing them out. You can see all kinds of room in that bushing right there. Some of them, somebody had replaced out, like this one wasn't too bad. That looks fairly new, but this one here, most of them were like this right here. Just, just all tore up in there. You can see how loose that is, and they wiggled all over, so. Anyway, yep, that's why we did it, so. Hope this worked out for you, give you a little idea what it all is involved, changing out these bushings on the row units. So we'll get this back up on the hydraulics, uh, get the transport lock locked back up and everything will be done. So hey, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.